for Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's a few updates in here. I think a lot of good ones. Makes it kind of fun. More of a summer fun vibe. On to now, I'll be playing through and just kind of running around doing my usual day of Animal Crossing items. If any questions about the June updates, let me know in the chat. Let's talk to Isabel real quick. Ah, and it's raining per usual. Is it Isabel, we get it. Alrighty. Let's go ahead here. Of course, but summer brings the rain, so I'm wondering if we have more rain throughout the summertime. People have been actually saying there's thunderstorms. I haven't had one yet. I've been waiting for one, but I'll see if I get it. Check our meal real quick. What we got today? Look, shopping. Oh, you're welcome. I'll keep buying things from your nice summer upgrade. Jacob always gives me some weird letters. And me and you climbed a mountain. I'm in the dark at top of the couch. Eight stacks. Yeah. Jacob loves snacks. I don't know why he loves snacks. We all love snacks. Jake really likes snacks. And let's see. Happy Home Academy probably got... Oh, rank A per usual. My house is kind of a mess, so I get the rank A. I don't even get a gift from them anymore. They like me. Oh, oh well. Oh, right. Still mail. What's in the mailbox? Let's have a look. What else is in the mailbox? Um, oh, my straw hat. Go, I'm going for the, uh, the Luffy look from, from a One Piece. I think I'm going to do it eventually. I think I'll put it on right now. Go to my straw hat. Open on up. I like it. I'm like a gardener. I'm gonna get the, the goofy outfit though. I guess it has to be a red hat or something like that. But yeah, it's kind of fun. Okay, so with the June updates. Oh crap, I showed my flower already. One big thing that I really love are actually the uh, update for the weeds. So let's go down to my little campsite over here. I'll take a look at some of the weeds we have. <laughs> Come on down, let's go run. My shovel in hand. All right, cool. Yeah, so if you notice, the weeds actually change. They're more of like a summer weed, so they're actually way more, I think, more detailed than they were before June. So you have like, kind of like dandelion-esque. You have some purple flowers. Yeah, so they really added some more fun weeds. I kind of like, it makes, it makes the, I think, the landscape look better. It kind of better aesthetic, and it kind of looks better in the actual part of your town. I kind of like having them. I'll, of course, clean them up, but it gives it more of that real kind of vibe and kind of nice homey vibe. <laughs> All right, so that's one of the big updates. The next one I want to go over. So I went over to the shop, Nook's Cranny. Even the, the outside. So they actually added some fun kind of summer things, like you'll see on the windows. They have a sailboat. They have a lighthouse over here. Some of the birds. You have this like little fun life raft here. I'm gonna shovel while I'm carrying it around. If you go on inside. Oh yeah, and also you have the little hanging shells up there for the, the lights, which is kind of fun. So we'll head on into the shop. Oh, and Gail's hanging out. Hey, what's up, guys? Also, they added this next section in the corner, which you'll see. I've had a surfboard so far, and this this, this uh, lamp, this fan, which I don't know if they're going to add anything else. That's all I've seen so far. Um, I hope they have more than just the just the fan and the surfboard. <laughs> and they even add some fun posters over here, which I don't think I actually zoom in on those real quick. Let me go to my camera. Not the DIY. The camera. Gotta take a look. I guess we can't really look at that far left, left corner. But anyways, yeah, they added some signs over there. Um, they also added, the, you can see the seashells, kind of lights on top, which is kind of fun. And then there's actually, I think it's really, oh yeah, and then if we go over to the register, they added a bunch of, it's gonna, it's the seashell lights and kind of like things on top of the shelf. They had like that life raft. So yeah, they kind of made that more fun summer vibe, which is cool. I'm actually gonna buy this camcorder over here. Gail, this is mine, not yours. Let's see, 32,000 bells? Yeah, fine, whatever. I don't have it yet, so I've got, got to put it in the inventory and then ha have the friends, you know, catalog it later. We'll head over here. Oh, that's a fun, that's a fun fan. I don't want to buy it now, though. Ooh, and I guess. Actually, I think I have the white one. I'll have to check. But um, I have the red one right now, I know for sure. I might have the white one, too. It's in my house. I just never see it. Okay, let's go back outside. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So it's kind of fun. The Nook's Cranny got those kind of nice, fun summer upgrades. Definitely recommend, like, I think, I'm hoping they'll do some more later. They have some different upgrades later on, which would be kind of cool. And then... One of the other big upgrade, up, upgrades, um, a few things besides the weeds in that is, and we might do this later, is that actually the Orville and, well, when you're going into the island, actually not the islands, when you go to the Harv's Island, you can give him everything extra, but what I don't understand is why that would really matter if you're not going to like, you're not gonna buy and sell things from Harv's Island besides maybe the furniture you get from um, uh, the people who are hanging out over there, which actually we that as well, which is the wedding stuff over at Harvest Island, which is kind of cool. You can get specialty furniture. Also, the new, of course, the new 
what new bugs and fish are out. Right now, a couple, couple items. We have the giant sea snakehead pond, which is in the pond. You'll have the gar, which you also find in the pond. The sucker fish, which you get in the sea. You have the great white, which you also find in the sea. The ribbon eel, the sawfish, the whale shark, piranha, the tilapia, which is in the river. By the way, the piranha is also in the river. The saddle britcher, which is also in the river. You'll find the arpiama in the river, and then also the arowana in the river. And it's kind of cool what they did. They added a bunch of in the shadow, since they have a lot more fish with fins, like the kind of those dorsal fins, you'll see a lot more in the ocean when you're walking. See if you can find actually now. When you're walking around, you'll see a fin on top of the fish, which kind of signals that it's probably a higher fish. Like this one's probably a sea bass because there's no fin on it. So let's kind of check that right now real quick while we're here. But definitely when you're running on your island, look for the fins. It's a dead giveaway that's going to be one of these kind of rare fish, even if it's a shark or whether it's um, the sucker fish or uh, even the, the great white. And also the whale shark too. We also had those head up well. The thing is, the whale shark actually don't have like that tall of fins. Yeah, see, this is of course some olive flounder, not a actual fun new June fish, which is kind of interesting. And then at the dock, and then also yeah, that's that eel. I guess that, that sea eel, the rainbow eel. It's very thin in the water. They kind of wiggling around, so you can clearly grab that one when you see it. Which I, I'm I'm kind of glad they've added more variety in the shadows for the fish because I feel like before you really didn't know what the hell you're getting. Could have been a sea bass. Could have been an oarfish, you didn't really know. It was always kind of just disappointing when you got five sea bass in a row and no actual rare fish. I think I even like last in May, I spent probably over a hundred bait trying to catch the, the rare fish of the month, the mahi mahi, and I never caught it. It just never popped up, which is just frustrating. Oh, it's also a new bug. They have new beetles that are popping up, so we're still going to catch this new beetle right here. Approach it slowly. So this is one of the newer bugs as well, the, the, uh, the drone beetle. Actually, I don't know if I've done it yet. I'm gonna go check actually now see if I've done it to the museum or not. So that's kind of a, a fun one as well. But again, yeah, speaking of bugs, the new bugs we're gonna have is of course the drone beetle, the rainbow stag, the mosquito, the firefly, the emperor butterfly, and the goliath beetle. The mosquitoes are funny. The mosquitoes will actually kind of chase you around and they'll bite you if you don't catch them in time, which is interesting. Another fun one, I don't know if you've seen before, even, even this was last month too, but the, the fleas were also out last month as well. We're at this month to do And the fleas, you'll see them around your, your villagers, you'll have to catch the flea. And they'll thank you, and I think your friendship level will go up to minute, go up to if, if, you, if you end up catching it. So, let's go on down here, see if we can, if we can find some actual fish with fins on them. Oh, what's this guy? I don't see a fin, but let's see if it's a rare fish. Come on. Cast. Hey, I've got his wood ready for the day. Come on. Oh, you, you son of a... You saw that. That's, crap. That's not true. You saw that. You saw that bait. Here we go. Come on. Big money here. It'll probably be a frickin'... Here we go. Oh, I completely botched that one. Eh, it'll, it'll probably a sea bass anyway. Oh yeah, here's actually the, one of the things in the shop right now is the, the surfboard. And I'm not sure if we'll get varieties throughout the... the the month. I've only seen this one so far this week. Hopefully either the following weeks or next month we'll get some new surfboards into the shop. But I kind of want to collect them all because they are actually pretty fun and cool. So let's head on over to this way. Go have a look. It's over here. Open oh, the fish. Let's see what this guy is. And cast. Come on. Let's see what we got. It is a tire. Awesome. Exactly what I wanted. It's a tire. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can we find those rare fish? I don't know. I hope so. If the stream cuts out, I just, just caught something I said. The stream might have cut for a second there. Let's see. Refreshing here. Is the stream still on? It is. Good. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay. All right, so you're right here. So this is one of those rare fish you're gonna find this month. And see how the dorsal, you see the dorsal fin there? So now this is easy to identify as, this is gonna be one of those fin fish that's on the June list of fish. So like anything, just go ahead to try to catch it. Come on, come on. There we go. Is he gonna see it? I always get nervous of picking it up too early when they see it and then lose the fish and it's like just disappointing in general. Come on, let's catch this June fish. Oh, see, I missed it. <laughs> Disappointing. Who's the guitar? I'm not sure why that's there. Oh, balloon. Uh, where's my, where's my slingshot? There it is. 
And also with June, there's new shrubs as well. So when leaf comes by your island, you'll have new uh, shrubs you can plant that'll be in season. Unfortunately, if any of the shrubs you planted from last season are, are still on your island, they're not going to blossom anymore. I had that problem when I, I think it was back in, I want to say, before, a little before May, I bought some of these like tea leaf ones, which are really nice shrubs, but then of course, with the new season in May, they stop blossoming, so they're basically just bushes, unfortunately, which is kind of sad. I wish I kind of, I, I, I didn't realize that, that the bushes were seasonal, which is kind of annoying, because it's like you plant them, they look nice, and then there's no flowers. <laughs> so, it's what it is, right? What's over here? Let's try this guy, too. Come on, catch. Come on. Nope. Okay. Let's try again. Come here. Nope. Not that one either. Alright. Let's try again. And cast. Come on. You know you want it. That's probably a sea bass. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's... Oh. I almost found her. A lot of these, a lot of these recently. And there goes my pool. Well, I think this is a good time to actually go over and check out Harv's Island so you guys can see the other update, which is the wedding uh, things going on over his island. And I'll... Before I actually uh, reveal who the two characters are, we'll go over there to go check it out. Because, again, it's two characters who actually are from previous games, which was fun. I was wondering when they actually they were going to make an appearance in this game. So, we'll go over there now and show you guys who it actually is. And as a reminder, you don't... If you're going to Harv's Island, you don't need a Nook Miles ticket. Which is, again, kind of nice. Let's go. Let's go talk to my buddy. Oh, we're drinking coffee. I don't know where we're going. Let's go to Harv's. Wanna fly? Hey, yeah, go to Harps. And also, I really hope they update some of the dialogue here. It takes a long time to do anything, whether it's travel somewhere, open your island. That's one thing I hope the devs eventually either fix or quick or speed up. But it's just, it's a lot of dialogue and a lot of time. And if you screw up one, if you click like the wrong choice, you're back to square one again. Turning the internet back on, all that stuff. So, alrighty, let's go over here. Thanks, Wilbur. Alright, so we're back on Harv's Island. See how he's doing. Good to see you too. Yes, more so yeah, Reese and Cyrus are the people, there goes this, there goes the spoiler, who are the ones getting their anniversary photos. And if you remember in previous games, they were the ones who did some of that furniture creation and furniture building. I'm not sure if they're gonna set up a, set up a shop on the island. I guess we'll find out maybe in, later this year. No, so yeah, so Reese and Cyrus, I've already done this once, and the first one, they actually did the wedding ceremony, but when you go back, they actually did, actually ask you to do other things. So let's see what they want us to do right now. Yes, no problem, Reese. No problem, Cyrus. Yes, reception time for sure. Sounds fun. Let's do the reception. And then, here we go. Yeah, and Cyrus has special furniture, which you can either buy, you can, they'll give you sometimes after you do one of these, or you can purchase the hearts they'll give you. So, let's go ahead and do the wedding wedding ceremony. I mean, not the ceremony, the, the reception. Go to my inventory, come on. So you have all these different options we can look at. And they give you this, the, the stuff that Cyrus actually has. So, here's the, some of the specialty items you can't get from the Nook shop, and only from Cyrus while he's here. So let's do some wedding tables. Let's do some chairs. It's always fun. And also, even they, have any, they also have variations, so we can do like. Take, go back. Go back. I want to do variations. Uh, da -da -da -da. There we go. Variations. So you have the the cute pink chair. You have the chic, which is kind of that brown and white, which is nice, more rustic, and the garden. Let's do some of these cheeks. I kind of, I kind of like those kind of rustic look. Do more of those. So first, we're gonna get rid of these ones. I like the chic ones better. Get rid of those. And Harv's Island's fun if you want to like try to test out, you know, arrangements for your for your own island, your own home. Um, I don't go here too often. Let's go ahead and make copies of these guys. There we go. And then actually, let's see. We also have variations for the tables. So let's see what variations there for the tables. So they're gonna be cute. Again, the chic, which is more of that kind of gold white vibes, and the garden. I kind of actually like. The cute because the, the chic doesn't really match the chairs, I don't think. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Let's go with the pink still. Alright, let's get my guy out of the way. Let's pick you up. Go over here in the corner. Go be sad. Let's go ahead and make a reception. So we can do that. Turn the table around. Spin! There we go. We'll take this guy over here. 
keep spinning. Do one more. Come on. There we go. Spin that as well. Take this over here. Spin that guy. You can also choose multiples. I'm being very not great with that right now, so I'm going to choose. Let's go ahead and select multiple of these guys. No! Don't make a copy. Want multiple. There we go. It's over here. This guy as well. I won't go to it DT so we can actually get out get out of here. <laughs> to watch me don't have to watch me make a reception for Cyrus and Reese, but we'll add these chairs. And then maybe we'll add some flowers that were on the on the on the item selection from Cyrus. There we go. And let's add some flowers to the wall. Oh yeah, also these are also very so we can do the white, you can do the chic, you can do the garden. So let's do do some gardens, do a variety. And then let's do the other one as well. So why, the, why the hell not? No, not that one. No. I'm making huge mistakes. There we go. The chic. Those kind of arranges as fun little decorations. You can do a mixed ball. Oh, I should have done more white. That's okay. It'll just be a very pink forward wedding, which is fine. I think she likes pink anyways. There we go. Something like that. I think it look kind of nice. Go back. And you can do as much as you want. Um, I'll just pop out of here now so you just, just wanted to show you guys. So and then when you're done decorating the room, you can go talk to Reese. And she'll actually take a photo of it. So we'll go ahead and... Yeah, yeah, I know how to take a photo. Alright, so you're going to Z. There we go. We're going to take a photo. I'm actually... I will disappear from the shot. By pushing the minus button. And then you can call them look at you. Actually, I don't like how they're... That's fine. Do it. Do like this right here. I'll take the photo. You can do a lot of this. You can be as creative as you want. You can move them around. You can put them in the chairs. You can make them sad. Uh, I'm just going to finish up here real quick. So let's see. Yes, that was a great photo. She'll show Reese the photo they took for their lovely wedding day. Yeah, yeah it's fine. And yeah, she's not too happy with that. What I did wasn't too nice, but then you can do as much details as you want. You can match the color scheme she wants, but she'll give you a gift every time you do it, either way. And she'll give you the heart crystals, which the heart crystals you'll use to buy furniture from Cyrus. And only during the month of May can you buy furniture from Cyrus. Once the month's up, you can't get it again, at least for the time being. Unless, of course, you time travel back, which is fine too. So Cyrus, yeah, I'll see. What you got, Cyrus? We'll buy something from you. So I already had the wedding bench and the wedding table. The wedding bench was from the ceremony. Of course, the wedding table is from now the reception. Let's go ahead and we'll buy... Let's buy the... Um, let's buy the decoration. Why not? It's only three. Sure. That's how you use the, the crystals. And there we go. No problem there, Cyrus. No problem at all. I'm going now. I want to use all the crystals. I'm going to wait. I want to save my crystals. Alright, so that's the other update, is the, the wedding ceremony for Reese and Cyrus, which is great, I guess, for them. And they'll be on the, they'll be there the whole month. You just can just go to the harbors whenever, do their daily wedding. I think it's, it's either going to ask you to do a reception or ask you to do the ceremony. I've seen some really fun new ones on Twitter. You guys def definitely check out the Cyrus and Reese wedding Twitter um, hashtags. They're, people have some really good ones. I saw the divorce court one, which is pretty funny. Anyway, so then you'll talk to, I'm um, to get out of here, per usual. But again, we'll you see this go, to, go for living, go for liquidation. So you can sell things as much as you want through Wilbur. And they'll just sell it as, as much as it would cost if you were to sell it through the box in front of us, Dooks. And then go for delivery, deliver it to your house. And I'm, I'm not sure if you can do it from the Nook Mile Island. Let's actually go test that right now. Let's go back, go get Nook Mile's ticket and test it out. So I don't really see the point of here of like having that option because how much of Harvest stuff are you actually going to buy? I mean, I guess if you want to buy like 20 or 50 different wedding things, sure. Easy to ship it back, but uh, it's more useful if it's actually at on the, on the Nook at Miles Island. So let's go try that out right now. Let's go ahead and grab a Nook Miles ticket so we can head over there. Come on, back, let's go. Head over here. Go on here. Let's go buy Nook Miles ticket. If you have any questions about the, the June updates or just in general, please feel free to put them in the chat. We're happy to answer them as I'm playing as well. 
Daily bonus. I get so sad when I miss the seven day. When I miss my streak, it's just upsetting to me. I feel like it's like, it's like a badge of honor if you keep the uh, the streak up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take our, our ticket. I'm gonna test this out. So I'm pretty sure you can't use the delivery and the liquidation, but if you can, that'd be awesome. Then you can basically farm the island the whole time. Let's go test it out, though. Yes, yes. Let's go. I'm ready to leave. I gotta go. I I have so much stuff right now. Um, let's go drop stuff off my storage before we head off to the island. Either way, if we can't liquidate, then it's kind of sucks. We go to another island that we can't actually sell anything. All right, let's head over to back over to my house, drop stuff off, then head over to the island. Yeah, the liquidation feature would be super helpful because you can technically just farm the island the whole time. You wouldn't have to go fill up your inventory, go back, and well, take another mystery island. So let's go ahead and drop some things off before we head over there into the house. Go ahead and drop my things off. All right, cool. Let's drop that in storage. Put all this stuff in storage. I have all these flowers. Ugh, I gotta put them somewhere. Forty-nine thousand gold goes away. Uh, oh, shoot! Stop! Stop! Oh, yeah, put that up. I bought two magazines. <laughs> Let's ignore that. My hat away. Customization. Cool. That away as well. Cool. Oh, actually, we're gonna need to learn these. I have too many. <laughs> cool. Go back out. Let's go ahead and learn these recipes real quick. Oh, I know that already, so we can just get rid of that one. No. Just a guitar. Kind of a fun one. Make an entire band with your with the guitars. Open that real quick. That's just a bottle. Brown Harry Mo wall. It's fun, I guess. I think I already made that, but cool. Alright, awesome. Now let's go ahead and. Oh, yeah, we want to check. So, that drone beetle, which is one of the June update bugs. Let's we'll see if we can actually get it to I don't think they're doing it yet, but let's go check. Come on down to Nook's Museum. Oh, I saw Nook's. Flathers Museum. Well, I think Nook owns it, actually. Head over to Flathers. Way on yonder. And get over there. There we go. All up into Blather's home. I'll be upset because it's a bug, as we all know he hates bugs. Come on, open up. Yes, hello. You may help me with making a donation. Oh, I guess I already donated it. Never mind. Cool, we can go sell it then. Yeah, I get it. So, I already donated it. But, anyways, yeah, one of the new June updates of those bugs. And. But actually, for the rainbow stick, so actually, for the, the bugs, speaking of the bugs, we can actually catch them. The drone beetles will be out all day. Um, the rainbow stags will be out at nighttime. Uh, the fireflies, nighttime. Or nighttime to like dusk time, the fireflies will come out. Emperor butterfly is also a nighttime bug. And then the goliath beetle you'll find on the palm trees at night. I haven't caught a goliath beetle yet. I have to look for him. It'd be a cool one to catch. Maybe we can do a model of that'd be cool also. Let's go ahead and plant some of these flowers to get them out of the way. I plant them in my, my old flower section here, which is kind of just a mishmash. I gotta really go through here and replant this. Maybe in another video I'll go over how to make a fun garden setup to really get the flowers in control. Um, my house used to be here, so I was just letting them grow crazily. I was just kind of ignoring everything. All good. We'll, we'll make a nice flower plot eventually. Alright, let's go head over to the island now. Go check if we can do some liquidation slash delivery. Come on down, let's go check it out. Get on here. Let's water real quick. Alright. Let's go to the new island. Yes, I want to fly. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, of course. This is what we're saying. The dialogue just takes forever. And then you really need to kind of speed this up or make it easier to fly anywhere because I feel like it's fun the first few times and then it just gets a little old. And I feel like you're just continuously going through that whole thing. But it is what it is. And again, let's go, let's just go. Come on, we gotta go. Alright. Let's see, I hope you can because again, the whole point of the liquidation and delivery system would make it so much better. A lot more time. Alright, cool. Here's 
here we are at Lovely Island. So much fun. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see. Let's ask him. And this is, see, you can't do it. And that's just so disappointing because the whole, I think the whole point of that liquidation delivery is that you can farm the island. Not to like, at Harv's, the Harv's, I'm gonna go buy, a, it's, and it's free to get the Harv's. I don't have to pay money to go to Harv's Island to get like that flipping uh, wedding stuff. Well, oh well, now we know. You cannot, the new liquidation delivery feature for the little airlines does not look work on the Miles Islands. Which, unfortunate, I really hope they fix that because that seems like a really good thing to have because you could just farm the island to everything back. Oh well, let's make the most of it. Let's go ahead and oh, I forgot. I don't have actually. I don't have my uh, fishing pole. Mm. Let's go ahead and shake some trees. <laughs> so we can just get the furniture out of the tree. And if yeah, if if you haven't played before, you probably know that when you shake the trees on any island, you at least get one piece of furniture. So I recommend shake all the trees. Look for that piece of furniture because again, it's something, right? You might not have it. It should be great. Also, always have your net out. Be careful of the wasps. And there's the furniture piece. Let's see what did we get. We got. A cartoonist set. I don't think I have that. I'll be able to check it out when we get back. Check the rest of the trees. Oh, yeah, also you can see all the new all the new weeds, which is great and fun. Oh my goodness, I see a fossil up here, so look at that. Oh I forgot. I empty I went and buddy the island and saw all my turnips earlier and I actually emptied everything out and did not pick up my ladder. So I think we we'll have to actually build a ladder. I don't need for that I need Oh got all the wood. Okay. So we can get some wood now. Oh I don't have my stone axe either. I really came unprepared to this island, but since, I don't, since this is a random island, we're chopping down. We'll chop it all down. Then we'll get that fossil. I have almost all the fossils. I mean, you never know, it could be a good fossil. Also, trying to collect all the T Rex fossils. I think everyone, what everyone wants to do is, of course, make a T Rex in their own hometown. It should be always fun. So we catch that. And I hope in Proof Drop, it's they actually add more of the fossils to the museum. I, I think a lot of us already finished up almost all, if not all, of the fossils you need. And I think it would add more fun to the museum. Because again, like once you finish the museum, what else is there to do? I mean, you get the you get the fish and the bugs per season, but the fossils will be done. So I really hope they either add an extra wing or something to add more space for more fossils. Which again, I think would be cool to add uh, future updates. They haven't announced anything about that yet, but again, that's I hope they do. It'd be kind of cool, kind of fun. Right now, I'm just gonna like I'm trying to get T Rex stuff, so I can actually put T Rex outside of it. Which I think is like the most. Stereotypical Animal Crossing <laughs> person is to put a T-Rex outside there in the museum, but I think it's kind of cool, kind of fun. I have enough for the ladder yet. So dumb. Remember guys, whenever you're doing your turn off sales, make sure you pick up your pick up your tools again after the fact, because I always end up not picking them up, and this is what happens, which is annoying. I'm gonna have the extra ladder for no reason. Oh well. Also, speaking of tools, the tools if it never break when it comes to like the ladders and the pole vaults. If you if you've broken a ladder or broken a pole vault, comment below, put in the put in the put in the chat. But I have yet to break a ladder or a, a vault. And it's like, what's the point of having a craft item like that if it never actually breaks? I'm not complaining about it, it's great to have a always have a ladder on hand. But the fact that they never actually uh, break is just kinda weird. Okay, cool, got that. I'll leave the apples. Oh I scared them away. Oh, let's get check out these rocks. Also, when you go to the these Nook Mouth Islands, make sure to try for the gold. I, it's one of those resources that are really, it's really hard to find, but a lot of the really cool rare items need the gold, so I have not, I've yet to actually use the gold to make anything. <laughs> I'm like scared to waste it if I, if I find an item I really want. Um, I'm hoping to do the gold armor. I have some of the pieces of it. I'm gonna play out the full set to actually make the gold armor set. So that's definitely a, a top list for the gold stuff. But again, like I think a lot of people, including me, just scared to use the gold. I don't wanna waste it, you can never find it. You can't buy it, you can't really source it, it's just random luck with the gold. Alright, I'll try for here real quick. Uh, go here. Let's go put the gold by myself. Dig. Come on, gold. Show me the money for the gold. Pull. Which again, great. Love iron. Always useful. But give, me the, give me the gold. Uh, there's another trick I've read about, and I've tried it a couple times. It's. I don't think it. it that accurate, it might be made interesting to try it more often, but people say that if you break the rock just before you hit it, you have a higher chance of getting gold when the rock breaks. I again, I haven't really tried that. Oh no. Also don't have my pole either. Oh, this is not good. Alright, we're gonna have to go around with the, the ladder. 
the guys pretend when you sell turnoffs, make sure you get to pick up all your tools again. <laughs> This is what happens, you get stuck on an island without your tools. Not fun. Alright. Oh no, I'm stuck. Go around. Yeah, I love all those weeds. I know I keep saying that, but I love the new weeds. They're just so fun, dynamic, and add so much more elements to this game than they did before. Maybe an actual, we'll see some more different different ones later on. Okay. What did I actually do? Oh, the rocks. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can find some more gold while we're out here. Go out here. I'm gonna go here. Take this out. Hold. There we go. Also, one thing about it's the summer clothes. So you'll notice in the shops, uh, Mabel's added more summer clothing. That's actually where I got this shirt for the pineapples. And you'll see it popping up more frequently. It's that kind of summer clothes collection. And I hope they add more. I love the summer stuff. I think it's kind of fun and makes it unique. Even my sandals are also the summer clothes. Gotta, gotta, look, gotta look, look good for summer. Oh, dang it. Put that up again. Okay, let's. Oh, no, hop it with all. Hop it with all. All right. No, uh, my life is just digging holes and redigging them because I miss. All right, there we go. Look for that gold. Oh, I should have see. And screwed up. I should have picked up that twig because now I wasted a wasted a spot. But that's alright. A lot of a lot of iron in this one, which is good. But yeah, no gold yet. Let's try again real quick. Any more rocks over here. Oh, there's one here. So maybe we'll get gold from this one. No. Come on. Dig there. There. Not there. Alright, let's go turn around. Get the rock, get the gold. I think, I don't know. I just feel a lot of iron. Yep, no gold. That's right. Always worth a try. I'm gonna take this stuff back. And then I think now let's try to find some of those June fish. Actually, I gotta make a fishing pole. Of course. Alright, let's get some twigs for the fishing pole. Luckily, I already took all the trees. There's a bunch all around. Got that, we got that. Okay, cool. Let's go here. Should I craft something? Yes, that's why I'm crafting. Alright, let's go ahead and craft the crappy pole. This animation is getting more and more just a, <laughs> not my favorite thing in the world. You, you constantly are building stuff, whether it's tools or furniture. And the fact that you still can't select multiple pieces of furniture to make at the same time, or tools, don't even get, don't even get me started. It's one of my biggest pet peeves of this game. It's just the crafting element. It needs to get upped and fi fixed a little bit. Okay. So we can find. Uh, this is for sure not one of the rare fish, fin fish, but maybe it's something we can sell back, on, back at the old island to nooks. You know, I'll speak on the nooks. One sad thing I think which I miss is them on the island running around. Like I miss Timmy and Tommy, the little flags, running around having a great time. Now they're just stuck in their shop all day with the little aprons, not able to go anywhere. It's kind of sad. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can find one June fish while we're on this island. That's for sure. That's not one. Go check over here on this side. Anything, anything. Nope, no fin, but we'll catch it anyways to get out of this. Maybe it's a snapper. Maybe it's an olive flounder. Maybe it's a, a sea bass. It's a sea bass. Uh, sea bass are the bane of my existence in this game. I think we all feel that way. I think we're all are done, are done with the sea bass. Maybe when, we, when you want change. I request change of the sea bass. They're just, they're too prevalent. I get it, you know, it's supposed to be like, oh, rare fish, but come on, like, when every other fish is a sea bass, it's like disheartening the fish. But like I said, I'm glad they added the fins a lot to all the, like the new fish in June because it makes it really easy to spot a fish. Like, I'll, like, right there, oh, see there, so let's take this one. Oh, this is gonna be a cool fish. Like, no, it's not, it's a, it's probably a sea bass. So you keep walking, and then lo and behold, there's a fin. This is probably one of the rare fish. Well, most likely it has a fin. So let's go ahead and catch it. Oh, try and catch it, that is, I missed the other one earlier. All right. We got this, guys. Come on. Come on. Steady as she goes. Don't hit the button. There we go. All right, what do we get here? Hopefully something good. We pulled out. Hey. Ooh, here we go. We got the saw shark. I haven't caught the saw shark yet. This is awesome. We can actually go down doing some blathers. We got the saw shark. So again, like those fins are great to really differentiate the fish now. I'm so happy they've added more fish with fins because it makes fishing just way better, way more enjoyable. Not too bad. Sea bass, as we all know, make it less enjoyable to actually fish and do things. Oh, I think let's try, let's try for one more. Let's see if we can find one more rare fish. We're on this island. 
I got the saw shark. And I still... Oh, that was a rare bug that I haven't have yet. Ah, run around. Oh, tip for that. Yeah, if you want to catch beetles more frequently, go to Nook Miles Island, chop the trees down, and then you'll, the the beetles will start spawning on the on the on the on the tree stumps. I'm losing my train of thought on the tree stumps. So yeah, if you if you need beetles, tree stumps are great. Go to Nook Miles Island, chop them down, away from the spawn. But well, we're not here for beetles, though. We're here for the fish. So let's keep looking. One over here. Nothing over there. Let's check over here. Oh, what's that? That is a probably sea bass. Ah, B, leave me alone. Poor bees, they get a bad rap. But they're all very nice. I'm just scared of bees. I think that stings actually. But I think that's a natural fear. Be scared of things that sting. Alright, let's do one more island look, look around. That will call it. Nothing. Let's try going back. Let's try going back to here. Uh, let's see, anything here? Oh, that is a... It's a sea bass, probably, so we're gonna scare it away. Be gone, sea bass. Come on, give me a spawn of a nice fish. Uh, I don't see any... Oh, well, let's just try and catch it, see what it is. Also, it's kinda nice to go to Nook Miles Island when it's rain raining around. I feel like when it was raining, it's kinda depressing. It's like, I just want a nice sunny day at my island. I feel like it rained so much. So I have to escape my island to go to these Nook Miles Islands to find... Oh, of course it's a flipping tire. Man, the amount of tires in the water for the amount of cars there are. There are no vehicles in this game at all, but there's tires everywhere. It makes no sense to me. Also, the cans. Like, what animals are eating... eating what, what residents are eating food out of the cans? All you see is sandwiches and ice cream cones, but no actual, like, cans of beans. It's, someone's... someone's littering. I think it's probably Tom, though. I'm gonna blame him, at least. Oh, Finn, so you're another one, so let's go ahead and try to get this one. If I talk to you, I swear I'm gonna throw you off the dock. Oh, did we get it? Nope, missed it. Over to the right. Yeah, come on. Nope, you're not. You, you wind it up, but you're not casting. Oh, this is such an awkward spot. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Come on, big money. Oh, son of a... Missed it. Ah, it's depressing. Okay, all good. One more lap. One more lap. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we can redeem ourselves. I will say, I've seen more of the finned fish here than I have at my own island recently, so maybe it's worth, if you're looking to get these rare, or these June finned fish. I need a break for a second. This is depressing. Okay, that was disappointing to say the least. Alright, another one. Okay, okay, we redeemed again. I redeemed myself. Alright, go ahead and cast. Come on. We're catching this guy. Here we go. I'm not gonna screw it up again. Concentrate. Concentration is the game. Not too early, not too late. He's got it. No, it's a tricky one. You waited a little while for that bite. Ah, you tried to get me on that. I got you though. I got gotcha. you. Oh, look at this time. Oh, that's another one I haven't caught before. The sucker fish. Okay, awesome. We caught another rare June fish. Okay, I shouldn't say rare. I don't. I don't know how rare they are now. I feel like compared to last few months, just even just right now, a lot more of these fish are spawning than they were prior. But again, the fin helps to really differentiate and understand like where the good fish are. I don't want to catch more sea bass to be honest. Even like the the knife jaw and um, the snapper, I'm tired of catching them. So new fish is great. Even the orf the orf is getting old. But the orphans like, oh cool. And that's like, all right, the orphans got it again for the tenth time. Like, I want new fish. So this has been a great month for so many ads of this fish to the game. Here we go, another one. All right, ooh, the first try. And we got another sucker fish. Cool. I don't know. I don't know what they're worth. We should probably check into actually at the Nook Shop to have a look. If they're worth a lot, I'd recommend saving them for when. Um, oh my god, I forget his name. The beaver who comes by and like gets. Buys all your fish, thinks he's cool, has a social media account. I'm literally blanking on his name right now. If the, if the comments remember his name, please comment. I just completely forget. I know we have Flick, who's the bug person, but I cannot remember Beaver's name. I feel bad. I'm a terrible Animal Crossing person. But yeah, anyways, save it for that guy. Um, if they're worth a lot, we'll save, we, should de we should definitely save it for him to sell. Go away, Fish. I don't want you guys. Go away. Let the fin fish spawn. 
I want them instead. Over here, let's go back. Run on back. Anything over here? No, nothing. Alright, let's go back this way. I think I want the stumps actually while we've been gone. Oh, on the stumps. Alright, let's try again. Find a fin fish. Over there, nope. Nope, alright. I'm gonna call it here, but we'll head, we'll head on back. So, oh, actually. There we go, right there, something. Right, I have the hardest time with, with uh, approaching any bugs that are on trees or stumps. They always escape my grasp. I get too I get too quick and excited. All right, we got this one. Hey, we got him. This one I think is the well, the jewel beetle. Nice. Actually, let's check. I think the jewel beetle is new this month. I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's have a look. All right, uh, is that it? Oh, that's the firefly. Jewel beetle, let's see. That's the rainbow stag. The drone beetle. Oh, I, did, I did catch the rainbow stag, actually. Uh, where is the jewel beetle? There he is. I don't think he's a... Is he June? No, he's been out for a while. I just hadn't caught one in a long time. I completely forgot about the jewel beetles. So, disregard that. Jewel beetles are still out right now, if you want to catch them. Let's head on back. I typically take advantage of the island. They like, basically farm all the resources, but I don't want to bore you guys with doing that right now. <laughs> so, we'll head on back and go ahead and donate these new fish to some blathers. His second favorite thing, besides the the fossils, I don't get his fear of bugs. He's an owl. They eat a lot of different they eat rodents and different things. So I'm not sure why he just hates the bugs. Personal preference thing, right? Thanks, guys. Let's head on over to our fun blathers. Come on, let's go. All right, head over to blathers real quick. We're doing, doing our fish. Make him happy with a new fish form. Feel bad, just hangs out in the museum all by himself. Like, I'll see residents in there once in a while, but he's just, they always stand in the same spot. I mean, at least, like, Nook's got Isabel hanging out. Tommy's got Timmy. Dyer's has got his sleep. <laughs> and his fossils. And his terrif- and his being terrified of the bug, the bug place in his uh, own museum. Alrighty, let's see. Blathers, we, I got so much stuff for you. I got a sucker fish. I'm with people, I love his facts. People, people hate the facts. My partner hates his facts. I love his facts. Yes, please. Oh, sorry, my webcam is blocking the screen a little bit. That's alright. Ah. Oh, I've seen these. If, if you, if you, um, any on Discovery or National Geographic, and you'll see like these sucker fish, they'll attach themselves to sharks and larger fish. To take off them, like the parasites and things. So you definitely have probably seen them on any of those channels about fish, <laughs> sharks, ocean creatures. All right, cool. That one's now donated. And now for the sawfish. Yes, I want to donate my sawfish, please. Sorry, saw shark. Not sawfish, saw shark. Saw shark, yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Please tell me more about the saw shark. Yes, it does. Ah, they pray in the sand and as a weapon against prey. Very cool. Shovel short shark? No, uh, that's too long of a name. It's like just, that's too, that's too literal. You need to understand it has to be short and sweet. That's it, man. Sorry I'm going to ditch you and you'll be by yourself in the next probably three days. Poor blathers. She could like, I wish she could give you a tour of the museum. Like you asked me, give me a tour and it kind of walks you around and... Talks about things. It's excited. That'd be a cool addition. Yeah, because you know, all the, the Nintendo devs are watching this, you know. If you're watching this, there's a, there's a just suggestion. Have a museum tours by, by Blathers. Let's go ahead and sell this real quick. Oh, let's see. Let's see what the, cost, what, the, what the price is. I'm curious if it's worth a lot or not. The Sucker Fish, at least. The Sucker Fish, I assume, is worth a decent amount of money. The Sucker Fish, not too sure. So let's check it out. Yes, hello, my friends. I want to sell. I'm not really going to sell it. How much is this saw shark worth? Sorry, sucker fish. Oh, crap, I can't see. <laughs> it's okay, it's hundred. That's not too bad. I think I'll keep that one. Sell it to our friend. And he comes by with his fishing social media challenge. Cool. Well, that's honestly, that's all the big updates for, you know, June updates for Animal Crossing. So, if you like the video, let me know. Comment below. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Definitely see you guys in the next one.